from time to time I get people asking about price guides price guides are kind of cool in that uh, they'll show the cars from various years this one is the uh, Tomart's price guide it's from 1998 it was a, a book and what I did is uh, I tore out all the pages and then I put them in these sleeves so this way it was a lot easier for me to flip through the book because the book itself, the, it doesn't lay flat when you uh, turn the page. So uh, I went ahead and uh, cut it up, got sleeves so that I can make it uh, nice and neat. There you got your, uh, scoot this over a little bit, got your beach bomb at the top there. But uh, as far as pricing goes, uh, you know the pricing is not really accurate because this book's from 1998 and the prices you can, a dealer I'm sure is going to refer to this book but these prices are nowhere near what they're really worth nowadays. Uh, I recommend you guys using um, eBay, see what cars are actually selling for. But uh, it is nice to use books like this. Like uh, let's say you got a doozy and you want to know when uh, other colors and when it was released or whatever. Maybe not when it was released. Yeah, when it was released. But on the base you look, this one says a copyright 1976. So. Uh, at the top of the page, you, they got the year there. This is 1980, so I'm going to flip and look for 1976. And actually, the copyright will be the date that Mattel copyrighted the car. It might not have been when it was actually released. So there we have the doozy. And here you got 1977. And then there'll be a list of uh, 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 all the different releases that Strauss had documented and others. But um, it's nice to use as a reference, but that's all it is. It's just a reference. One time uh, when I started buying cars, getting into the hobby in the late 90s, uh, you know, eBay, there's a lot of cars on eBay, and someone had a Jeep CJ7 listed. And I thought, you know what, see the yellow dots uh, that I have marked here? I started marking the, the cars that I had, and I thought, man, I got to get all of these. So I started marking the pages. To show what I had so I can keep track of my collection but uh, it didn't take me long to realize that you know what uh, there's far too many cars released uh, I'm just gonna it took me about two years and I realized I give up because I'm just gonna focus and buy what I like and I don't have to have everything so anyways this lady had a Jeep CJ7 uh, listed on eBay she didn't have a picture but here we have CJ7 on page 68 so, I got my little Tomart, and I looked, here we go, CJ7, and it was the Metal Flake version, same as the one above, listed, but it said right there, no white windshield frame. And she had listed, no white windshield frame. And so I looked, and those two prices you see there, it says $10 and $12. That's actually $10 if it's mint loose and $12 if it's mint in the package. Now this is a 1998 guide. This is not nowadays prices. But uh, so, you know, I put in a little bid. Uh, she didn't have a picture, but she must have known exactly what she had because she said there was this, this was the description and no white windshield frame. So I put in a bid like five or six dollars and uh, I won. Fantastic. Uh, I was looking forward to getting my uh, uh, real rider. There it is. Got your uh, Jeep CJ7. Fantastic. And it's the no white windshield frame version. Uh, oops. So that was a school of uh, hard knocks for me. I learned don't buy anything until you see a picture. Because while. She thought this was the uh, no white windshield frame version. It's actually a busted toy is what it is. She don't have the windshield at all. So let that be a lesson. Make sure if you're buying stuff, get pictures. Buy from reliable sources. And if, as far as uh, pricing guides goes, you know, you got to learn the market. Know what things are selling for. People can ask all they want. But uh, in reality, eh, try to get what the going rate is or less, you know. That's the way it goes. Uh, I learned my lesson, so that's why I'm sharing this with you, so you don't have to learn the same lesson. Bye-bye.